Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to do today something really quick and easy and that is kind of like a part two of somebody else's video here on YouTube. So Nico Tutorial uploaded, um, uploaded a video called The Power of Makeup and it's all about like embracing makeup and having fun with makeup again and just not being ashamed to liking makeup because now these days, a lot of people, they're like, oh my God, like, why do you do makeup? Do you want to hide something? Do you want to not deal with yourself or what's going on? And I got inspired by her. So thank you very much, Nikki, for giving uh, or opening so many people's eyes about just accepting makeup and loving makeup and having fun with makeup. And I want to do today the kind of like male version of that. Um, when it comes to makeup, a lot of people, they think there is like, I don't know what, where it comes from, like a, it's, it's exclusive for females. And that's not true. Like I never saw on the box of a makeup product used for, for female only or for women only. Never saw that. And I think now we are at a place and a time in this world where it should be more accepted that also uh, men are wearing makeup and I want to do show you today the power of makeup when it comes to a man So a very natural look, but still show you what it makes for a difference and how it can make you feel better So keep on watching So the first thing I want to talk about today is it's all about primers There's so many brands out there. They do them and they have a purpose. So as a man you might have also textured skin Maybe you had acne when you were younger, maybe um, something else, and you just have, or just have enlarged pores or whatsoever, and you don't like that about yourself. So you can take one of these little helpers here, and these are our products to help minimize pores. So we have, for example, from MAC, the uh, Skin Refined Zone Treatment, Benefit the Professional from Kiehl's, there we have the micro blur skin perfector or from smashbox photo finish uh, target pore and line filler all of these products are products you can utilize in areas where you have enlarged pores i don't really have enlarged pores but i still like to use them just to give me that super almost kind of like photoshopped look to my skin so today i will start with using the professional from benefit I'm almost out of it and I'm just taking it all across my nose and on my forehead and I do it in these areas because I um, I don't have large pores there but this is the part of our face it stands out the most so if you have any large pores there or texture people will recognize it more easily than if you have it maybe back on your jawline for example and that's that and then the next thing that you can utilize is face primers so we have different kind of face primers um, for different kind of uh, skin types we have primers for more oily skin more for, for more dry skin and they will just help that every, anything that you put on top will last longer and stays on longer and looks better um, I personally have a mixed oily skin so I like to take the hourglass the veil primer and just putting it on the rest of my skin so I don't use that on top of the um, professional, the pore primer. I will utilize this more in the areas where I did not put any other primer. Next I'm taking something like this. This is a BB cream. A BB cream is a primer, a moisturizer, and a foundation and a sun protector in one. And this will just help me to even out any skin discolorations. So let's say you have a little bit of rosacea here, a little bit of redness on the cheeks, you don't like that, you can cover that a little bit. Also like dullness in your skin, anything like that. And I'm just taking a little bit and rubbing it on my skin like a foundation, basically. And um, this is a very natural way to give me a little bit of coverage without making it look like I wear a, a ton of foundation. And if you want to and you have a little bit of discoloration on your eyelids, you can just take what is left on your fingers a little bit over your eyelid to even that out a little bit as well. If you have dark circles, you went out partying last night and you want to cover them, take concealer. 
This one is Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer. This one is in the color 404, uh, 040 South Beige. And I just take a little bit right underneath your eyes and you can just really dab it in. And this will just really hide any kind of dark circles. Because it has a little bit more of a peach undertone, it will neutralize any blueness. Because if you put something orange on something blue, they neutralize each other. Now if you want to get rid of any kind of like shine in certain areas where you don't like it, you can take a little bit of powder. This one is a mineralized powder, so it's very natural. And I'm just taking a light powder brush with that. You just want to deposit a little bit. I like to powder just underneath my eyes to get rid of any shine of what I might have there. Can look a little bit oily, also in the center of my forehead and on the nose. It just really helps me to balance out any kind of shine because our skin has a natural satin finish naturally, but you don't want to look greasy and oily. Now moving on to eyes. So what can you do with your eyes to give them a little bit, a, just make them look a little bit polished without making them look like makeup. So if you don't like your shape of or the shape of your eyebrow, um, tweeze them, trim them and then also comb them. There are many ways to comb them and um, it's like our hair on the head. Sometimes we just need a comb through to make them look very nice and even. If you have some scars, some holes maybe where just not hair is growing, you can take something like a brow pencil and with this brow pencil um, you can just really fill in where you need. I personally don't find I have to fill them in, they're quite thick anyway. But what you can do is take a brow gel, this one is a clear brow gel, and just comb them in the direction that you want them. And then it's like a hair gel, so they stay in place the whole day. A lot of women always come to me and be like, oh my god, you have so gorgeous eyelashes. And I bet there are a lot of men out there who always get the compliment about their eyelashes. So women actually really care about eyelashes. So what you can do to make them look just a little bit more flirty without making them look like you have makeup on is something like, a, um, this one is an eyelash curler and you just take your lashes in between and give them a little curl. And this will just help to open up your eye and you have a little bit more of a flirty look. Um, without actually putting any product in but if you want to and make them hold and stay the whole day you can just take the brow gel again and then I just brush a little bit through it so that they are separated and that they stay and hold the curl the whole day now we even out the skin so much on the side so we need to bring back a little bit of color otherwise it looks a little bit obvious that we have product on there because our skin has not all over the same color so something like a bronzer is a good idea. I like, for example, the Laguna bronzer because it is a little bit more of a cool tone bronzer. And this one has a slightly satin finish to it, but not literally and shiny whatsoever. And I'm just taking it on a big powder brush like that, tapping on a little bit of product. And then where do you want to put it? It's really important. You want to enhance or want to look like you've been in the sun. So you want to put that bronzer everywhere where the sun hits your face first. So let's say, for example, on the top of your cheekbone, like that, and just a little bit. Then also a little bit above your eyebrows, because also this is a part where the sun will hit you first. And then you can also take it down a little bit, the bridge on the nose, and on your chin if you want to. And last but not least, you can take also something for your lips. You can take a lip conditioner or we have even like tinted lip conditioners. The tinted ones just will enhance the color a little bit of your skin, uh, of your lips. And this one just gives them moisture. I like to give them a little bit of color because I have quite rosy lips from like my natural lip color. And I like to take a kind of like brown toned lip balm and just give them on top and it will neutralize a little bit the rosiness so they don't stand out as pink as they did before and that's the power of makeup when it comes to a guy you, you can tell like this side like just looks a little bit more perfected and polished while this one has like a little bit of redness right here and the eye looks just smaller and um, I just look a little bit fresher here 
so um, this is what you can do and you know it's okay it is completely okay if you go out there and you buy yourself a concealer and a powder you should not be ashamed of that there's no reason why you should be ashamed of that we live in a time where it is okay to wear makeup as a man you should be completely okay with that and then I saw to finish off that video I saw a comment on Nikki Tutorial's original video where it says oh my god and this is why guys don't trust girls because they are lying girl if you don't get it get out of here there's no lying there's just helping enhancing and having fun with makeup it's art and you can do it too there's nobody in the world who tells you you shouldn't do that just yourself or the pressure that you feel from society you know what don't care what people say and don't care what people think if you enjoy having makeup in your life because maybe you want to cover something maybe you have scars maybe you have acne you want to cover or maybe you just want to have fun maybe you just want to look good it is okay go out there and do your thing okay don't let anybody tell you you shouldn't do that i don't let ten i don't let anybody tell me that i shouldn't do that and guess what i'm doing pretty good for myself so if you like that video give it a thumbs up I will link Nikki Tutorial's channel and also her original video down in the info box as well as all of the products. And then if you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section. Then you can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook and Instagram and of course also on Snapchat. And um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't have already. I would love you to be my new subscriber. And now to the end of the video. Thank you so much. Thank you for everybody who supports me or supports anybody who is a man and wears makeup and it's completely okay. So thank you everybody. And now as always at the end of a video, I wish you a wonderful day and enjoy.